you know how many times people tell me they insist time and time again that opening a business you have to have money opening a business you have to have resources opening a business you have to have a loan from the bank or a loan from the government or a loan from uh, from families these statements are further from the truth they are absolutely have no basis because I'm speaking from experience the the one thing that's really important when opening a uh, finding to open business is whether or not you have the skills what kind of skills do you have what kind of services are you trying to provide it's a really important so I just want to put to rest the idea that you have to have funding you have to have a, a lot of money in order to start business if if you have never opened a business in the past and you're thinking about op opening a business money should not be the uh, the main focus money shouldn't be the main focus the main focus is what are you trying to provide to people is it are you trying to provide them services are you trying to pro uh, to provide them I don't know it's food or whatever whatever maybe what kind of skills do you have it's a really important so I'm just gonna give you a practical example where you don't need money in order to open business so I'm just gonna give you the example of a barber so this is a business idea if you are thinking if you are a barber you can use this idea and uh, use it as a template and uh, probably it will work for you and uh, you are a barber or you wanted to become a barber so and you don't have the money you you don't have the resources you cannot just go ahead and open a, a store you have to st you have to start first what you need to do is you need to find customers who are closer to you meaning your friends your families okay so you need to cut their hairs right now paying for barbershop is so high I stopped going to the barbershop because the fee to cut a hair is $40 are you kidding me seriously so if you if you have if you want to learn how to become a barber so you have to start with your families with your friends you start cutting their hair charge them maybe half of what what uh, what normally the market because you need to charge them less you don't have because you don't have a physical store okay and you don't have overhead employees so you don't, your expenses are very slim so you start from there you start cutting the hairs of your your, your bodies charge them ten dollars twenty dollars and if they like it they will come back and the people the people who are into styles they they like to to cut their hair maybe once a month twice a month so the business will come so slowly you collect those money okay every month you build a 10 people so what you need to do is you get the, the tools okay you get the tools and then you go to their places and they cut them their hair make it more convenient for them you don't have to need you don't need a physical store physical store is an inconvenience by itself by itself so you go to people's in your neighborhood people know you this is how you build 
understanding something is really important. If you are planning to build a business, your community is the is the main source of your income. If you don't have a community behind your business, especially when you're starting up, it's really hard because a lot of time in the community, people they sp they spend money and uh, they tend to go to the businesses that are inside the community. So first you start with the community. So slowly go to their places, okay, and cut their hairs. Then slowly, if you if you are at a place where at a point where the demand is too high, you are getting a lot of customers, and uh, you are only one person. Then, then you can hire someone. You can hire somebody, and you you, you need to have somebody that is very very, uh, very loyal because. Even in that case, some people are not dishonest and uh, they they want to undercut you in case if they find out that uh, they can do it themselves. So you need to start having somebody that's loyal. It's really important loyalty, somebody that has a character that you can rely on. You can, somebody that has honor because a lot of people, they don't have, they don't teach them those values. They are really important. If you want to succeed, you need to have people that that uh, that in no in, in very difficult circumstances they can they can always uh, stand up for you. Okay, they will be there for you. They will be there to protect your business, to protect your interests, to protect your relationship. It's really important. So once you hire the first the first one. Then slowly, gradually, as the as the activity go, as the activities go, you'll probably need to hire more one more person. So then you you will reach a point where you have enough money to open a physical place. If you want to do that, you can still do it if you have a physical place. Where people go, you know, that that would be in the in the neighborhood, okay. But if you decide not to do it, you can always do it. You don't need to have a physical place. So this is one way to build a business. Okay, there are other many ways. So first of all, you have to have the skill. Once you have the skill, then you can provide those skills to people who are around you. The people who are closer to you, you give them a, a lower service. Then it's slowly, gradually, gradually you'll be able to uh, build a real business. So these are my few steps. Anybody who says you need money to start business is completely rubbish.